Hello and welcome to some Sea Open at Richmond. We got the trucks. And this is my second attempt at this. Uh, first attempt, I don't really want to talk about much, to be honest. Because it was very depressing. <laughs> it's just a general overview. Made it about 90 laps into the 110 lap event. And it was a single split because that's the only time I can race most of the time. This is a 31 car split right here, but I do believe it's split once. Um, and uh, a lap car, lap truck, was swerving all over the place. I was in second place chasing the leader. We were going to have a great battle to the end, I think. It was going to be a very interesting finish. Very adjusting volume. And uh, they were swerving all over the place. The leader got into them, slipped up, and I got caught in it. Blue engine. See, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> that was very depressing. We had a great finish shaping up, and it was gone in an instant. One more last. So, try to get good qualifying here. I quite like Richmond, even though it is a short track. As many will say, it doesn't really drive like a short track. I would agree with that. And the evidence is that I'm not screaming and panicking right now. Because that's what I normally do at short tracks. Um, let's see, 929. Gotten to 21, so that's kind of the... I'm happy with that. I can feel content with that. Um, so it doesn't really drive like a short track. It's got enough banking and feels like the straightaways are long enough. Yeah, you can drive a little bit faster. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it is uh, not a half mile that makes me want to poop my pants. <laughs> it is instead longer than that and less scary than that for me. And I actually quite enjoy it. The problem with it is, this curved front stretch makes people think, Hey, I can come down here and pass this guy. Oops. I just took out the whole field. And do that about, let's see, 110 lap race. I don't know. Ten times. And uh, you've got your race at Richmond. Uh, thankfully, last time it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But dive bombs are horrible here. Very easy to get loose, especially on full tires here, which causes a lot of self-spins. And not too much room to dodge it, which causes a lot of carnage. So, it can be quite messy. You can fight back a little bit on the outside. I actually did an Xfinity race here as well, but of course the audio in my microphone didn't record. I got fifth in that one, and that one was horribly messy. Barely got any green laps, but I thankfully got out of it with a 4X, and that was just after two guys ahead of me ran into each other on the straightaway. One guy like put another guy in the wall, and then uh, I was right behind it, and the guy that hit the wall in front of me lost a whole bunch of speed real quick and I was not able to slow it down enough in time to avoid the 4x but thankfully avoided killing the car. I had some temperature troubles at the end that were really scaring me but I was able to hold on to a fifth place finish and it was I wouldn't say a good race but it was a decent finish but I lost the audio for it anyway so man I'm all the way back in eighth I stink I thought <laughs> I thought my lap was better than that I have my work cut out for me interesting Alright, well, we're going to be in it a little bit, which scares me, given what I said about how messy this place can be. If we have enough time, I want to do a little bit of this. Watch your speed. Practice green flag pits because it stops. Never going to use it, but always like to have practice just in case. I'm content with my ability to get in. It is kind of tough here. You really got to get the truck slowed down and turned in. 
but if I can do it like I just did there, that should be fine. Got some people waiting. 6x and qualifying. Alright, watch out for that guy, I guess. That's at least what, like... I don't know. That you can get 6x a number of ways. But we are ready to go here. Looks like I have gotten P8. Couple These guys are a couple tenths faster. I don't have anything for that. I got my free setup as usual from OSR. These guys tied. That's cool. To the, thou to the thousandth, anyway. It actually records farther than that, so there's a ten thousandth here that uh, there's a lower number than this guy has, presumably. So that's why this guy's ahead of that guy. But I'm going to start on the outside. And uh, it's going to be just a lot of surviving for a while. And hopefully I will be successful at that surviving. For the four-track, that's nice. Not the one or the two. Just finished doing that ARCA race at Knoxville, which I actually enjoyed quite a bit. I recommend it. Um, I mean, if you're at all interested, first ever dirt, um, official dirt race in the ARCA car. So if you're curious about it, um, there's some exploits going on with the wall riding and things. There's some very bad driving by other iRacers sometimes. Um, horrible slide jobs, complete lack of respect. But if you get a decent group, which I kind of did there, just a couple of guys were problems, and I was able to stay out of their way, at least. They wrecked themselves out and actually had a pretty good fun race. It's fun to drive around there, at least. So if you're able to actually drive around there and not just get taken out by somebody, it's actually pretty fun. But that's ARCA. We're talking about trucks right now. And 110 laps at Richmond. That is what's on deck right now. Four sets of tires for 110 laps should be plenty enough. Can get kind of tricky to decide when to come in for the tires when we get a bunch of cautions. I might end up in an interesting situation again here where I have to decide do I pit, do I not pit? That happened both in the Xfinity and the last truck race I did. Where I had to make some decisions. But unfortunately, I have nothing to show for those. Um, I would have uploaded the last one where I got taken out. But one, I was very angry and did not want to see or hear from that race ever again. <laughs> um, I didn't... I was able to restrain myself from yelling at the person. Because, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a case where they were being negligent. They were trying their best, I imagine. They just Sorry, didn't yeah, know how to be a lap I car. I apologize. And another person was yelling at them. And after I cooled down a little bit, no, that person yeah, was I, like... Yeah, that was an accident. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I don't know what's going on back there. Um, after that person yelled at them, the, the guy that was in the lead, and later on the person that caused the wreck was like, did I really do anything wrong or whatever? And I just kind of said like, well, this is what happened, why it happened. And so they were like actually interested in hearing about what they did wrong or if they did anything wrong. So it was okay. I, in the end, I wished them better luck next time, wish both of us better luck next time, and it actually turned out okay, but I just, I did not want to think about that race anymore, and I also wanted to try it again, and so hopefully this race will be better, and a better one to upload. So, that's the story behind that. Anyway, we're going to go green here in a moment. Get ready. Time to time to do your job. Green, 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 green. You have to hit the accelerator at some point. Car inside. Interesting way enough. Nice. There's a car on the low side. Still inside. Clear inside. There's a car inside. Still there, hold your arm. Oh, oh no. Nice. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. That was scary. Shout out to the guy in front of me for not overreacting to that and like turning hard right. Even. Ooh. 
because he could have been turning up right into me. I puckered up on that, Matthew. Catch stop, seven, John. So, after qualifying 8th, we are in 7th, after a guy spins. Thankfully, he did not get caught up in that. Let's see if you will. My first time racing with professionals, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do this, so I just go back and turn left. I've heard that voice before. Yeah, first time racing people with talent, I'm not too sure what to do with my hand. You just wave at them as you go by. <laughs> or as they go by. Yeah, he took the uh, clip right on and off there, kind of set it backwards. Yeah, the moment I saw uh, Pepper and Fox in here, I said, well, I'm going to get lapped. <laughs> I guess those guys are now through being fast. I don't really know who they are. Um, but unfortunately, we're going to get a lot of this, a lot of pacing, probably. Wait, are you going to win this like you did that Champions Truck Series last night? Well, of course, yellow. It's our open. I don't know. Well, when you do come up to lap me, just know I'm going to say, uh... hey, at least that guy knows to stay high. All right. We're going to give it hell regardless. Come on, man. Keep mode, keep closed right now. We're under caution. It's closed. Eh. I'm barely top five and bottom split. Everybody was barely top five and bottom split at one point. Now you're bottom five and top split. So you're coming up. Just listening to him talk. Don't want to wear myself out because <laughs> long race. We're going to pace him a lot, like I said. Uh, always, as always, gonna have chapters. And you have to skip precautions if you're interested. I want a nice Twitter party. It's always annoying having to <laughs> put them all in there, but hopefully they're useful to somebody. I'm also kind of in a situation like I did 90 laps of a video already, and I've said so many things. I'm trying to think of like. One lap to green. You'll be well, I said that already, but I also didn't say that already because no one ever heard it. So I feel like I'm repeating myself sometimes, but in reality, I'm not. I was going to offer to buy him Twitter if you want, because that's about what I would think uh, I could put up there for me and wouldn't have to worry about having somebody fulfill it. So going to be on the inside this time. I think I would prefer <laughs> to be on the inside. I don't know. I don't know what I prefer. Yeah, uh, I prefer to there. go green, to be honest. But About to go green. Stay focused. It's going to be a minute before we can do that, I bet. If a all. lot of people to wreck. <laughs> time to do your job. Okay. Steady. That's hanging on out there pretty hard. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. The fastest lap for Williamson, 21.9. Car in front of lap time is at 22.2. Which is the best lap in the session. The guy behind has just done it. 22.2. Alright, we're clear. Held up a little bit. Don't want to run in the back of this guy, of course. But. Don't do that. Fastest lap for Williamson, 21.9. That's your best lap in this session. I'm going to get a run. Not quite there, though. Outside. 
Clear up top, car outside. Hmm, had a little bit of the apron that was not good. I think we held it down there. Clear outside. Alright, that's fine. We can get it done. Still early. Um, we're actually getting some green laps here. That's kind of nice. I'm trying to be aggressive on the throttle, even though it's a little bit loose. So that way I'm on my right rear. Seems to be pretty similar speed where we are right now. Damn, that's a caution. Alright. Yeah, that wasn't that bad of a run. I didn't get a contact for that. If I touched him, my bad. I, I don't know if it was Nicola or not. I'm sure we said, but if I did, it's been in my bad. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Base car is out. Line yeah, up single my bad. This race won't be so bad after all. It's interesting because real life Richmond's usually pretty clean. <laughs> I racing is usually not the case. Yeah, it's just like a racing deal. We got racing deals. All of what you want. The leader, Williamson, is pitting. He's pitting. I'll do it. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles. Don't think I won't. <laughs> we'll fuel you to the end of the race. If only to get fuel, make me feel like we can make it to the end, maybe. Five. Three, two, one. Right here. Alright. Seems like we got a lot of the field in. I know we didn't do too many green laps, but I found myself in dangerous situations the past couple times I did this when I chose not to pit early on, so. Move it, move it. They want you in single Go ahead and do that. Have fresh tires. 98-98. Like I said, not going to be too much, but we have four sets of tires. So we have plenty to work with. And we will go from 7th place to to be determined to place. Uh, I didn't know, uh, but if you go to GreenMountainGrills.com, you get the best pellet grill of all time. Where are we? 10th place. Okay. So we lose yeah, three I mean, spots, they, they but get fresh tires. I think that's a good trade. Any grill that you can control at your uh, at your phone, at the office, at a park, or whatever, to meet your needs, not the needs of the grill. What is this person talking about? I was ignoring them, and I heard something about a grill. <laughs> I got my show notes in front of me, so I'm quote no. Paying attention to what they're saying. <laughs> Sell your product for you. It's fine, you got loads. So I'm not sure if we can make it to the end though now, but it'll bring us a little closer. I guess I should be saving fuel, so I should be doing. Just in case we can get a little bit closer. Not gonna go green anyway, like I said, but don't want to put yourself in a bad situation just because you make that assumption. Gonna be starting on the outside, but outside's not quite as bad here as it would be at some other short tracks. Um, you saw the guy hang on my outside plenty well. Last restart. So, if you can kind of hang in there and just find your way back in line, it's not so bad. But so far so good. We've uh, kept it clean, avoided some 
potentially dangerous situations, or at least one where the guy was self-spinning. Avoided anything scary there. And we'll uh, get going again here on lap 20. About to go green, stay focused. Punch it up 12. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Great launch, but only so much I can do. Inside. There, hold your line. Hmm, very slow through the center, the guy in front is. Come on, let's go, man. He's weaving off the wall, getting on the brakes hard. Oh, he almost pushes up into me. This guy is unbelievably slow in front of me. Holy cow. This is that guy that's bottom split guy. Clear inside. Full caution. Yellow oh. flag. Line up. Single fire. Speed road. Slow down. Looks like he's telling me he's not in front of me this time. Pace cars out. Line up. I had to be very line cautious line not to run over him there. Pace cars out. Pits are closed. Unfortunately, he is right in front of us. I hope he pits here. Pete Nothing Pete against him. Obviously, he's off pace though. Oh my gosh, a couple people leaving. Must be a big wreck back there. I, I pissed any of the, the, the from fourth going back, my bad. I'm you know, kind of was in a unique situation there. But uh, I'm going to the back. Uh, it was fun being up here with you guys. <laughs> but it wasn't real fun. You did all right, man. It was on uh, the faster guys to be careful getting around you. You did fine. All right. And a dumbass missed my pit block. But, <laughs> that one again. I thought he did fine. He was holding a line. It was, like I said, on me, for example, to not just run over the back of him. So. I think we should be good on fuel. Obviously, we will pit again if our tires get older. Sorry, I ate uh, on pit road. I wasn't paying attention. But if it, by some miracle, goes green then we will be okay, and that is what I like to hear. This is a track you could probably save some fuel to. Coast to Nakamura is a little bit farther. And the Xfinity race that I lost, that's something I had to do because my engine temps damaged the nose running into the guys that got into each other. Engine temps were getting high because of it. I had to coast into the corners. I was at real risk of my engine blowing. So it was as if I was saving fuel, but instead I was saving temperature. It's a shame I lost that. That was pretty high intensity. Thought for sure my engine was going to detonate any moment during that race. I might give uh, Xfinity another go and uh, actually get it recording this time. Problem is I have a bit of software for noise suppression that I run. I think it's RTX Voice is what it's called. And it's very good at noise suppression, but the problem is it crashes a lot, and when it crashes, then it takes my microphone with it, and it doesn't record any audio at all. So, that's what's been happening with that. And I even, I check before every race, and I checked before that race too, and apparently between the time I checked and between the time I started recording, <laughs> it stopped working, so that's a real shame there. So I might have to dump that program, even if it does make the audio a little better. Because, uh, well, who cares if it makes the audio better if the audio doesn't exist at all, you know? <laughs> it doesn't really make it very much better in that case, does it? We'll be on the inside this time. I'm not sure if I prefer the inside or outside. Probably prefer the inside. I think it would be easier to avoid danger on the inside, but... It all just depends on how it unfolds, so who really knows. One left to green. Okay, Colton. You'll be lining up on the end of this lap. My goal this race, my goals, I should say. I want to try to keep it clean. That's always a goal. Um, obviously, keep it clean as in I don't want to wreck anybody. Never want to do that. 
but also try to avoid danger myself. Not always much I can do about it, but always a goal to try. And I think top 10 I'd be very happy with. Just getting into the top 10. There's some pretty fast guys in here. Got ready to get going again. Car outside. Clear up the top. Make a lane up there because I wasn't quite sure Car where he was. Still there. A little bit slow down here in the bottom lane. Clear outside if you want it. We got mm, almost a dive bomb there. Guys are definitely taking entry a little softer than I would like. Well, a little off pace off the corner. Go low. The last lap time was at 22.3. Keep low. Still there. Clear outside. So we can get around him here. Looks like we got it. All right, that's a pass. Okay, I said it, no use it here. Good evening. Seventh position. What did he say? That lap time was 22.2. said, I'm kind of focused right now. of a run to try to get on us inside there. I want to get around this guy soon. A little slower than my comfort zone. Scare him up? No, not quite. This guy really and he Okay, he's spinning it on entry almost. Car outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Okay. Around him. Good stuff. Lost a little bit of time to the top five up there, but we're okay. D6. The captain, Hawkins, ahead is now 1.2. <sighs> Ooh. Fun track, though. Enjoy this track. Fun when you can get it around the bottom like that. Feels pretty good. Last time I ran this, the car got pretty tight, the truck rather. That's why I'm trying to be on the right rear a little bit. And uh, I'm not so sure I would want the setup to be much different anyway, because it's so loose on fresh tires. To make it any looser, you're probably just going to loop it before you even let the truck get tight. So I'm pretty happy with how the o OSR setup feels this week. Feels like I can do what I need to do with it. Okay, Colton. The next car is Hawkins. You feel the truck getting tighter. So i got to manage that a little bit. P6.
it's good having session last lap up. Just done a I compare I'm doing. Mm, a little too close to the apron there, don't like that. That ruined my runoff. You got some green laps going, I like it. Don't, doesn't seem like I have much for these top five guys though. Unless they fall off, I'm not sure I have much for them. They're doing pretty darn well up there. That feels pretty good though on the exit too. Feels like I'm on the right rear. Like that feeling. This race already going much better than both the other races I did in terms of green flag racing. Love to see that. Seems like once guys get spread out a little bit, things seem to be okay. Until lap traffic comes, I guess. Don't make me think about that. <laughs> Not looking like I'm going to compete for the win this time. But who cares about that? Seems like it's a much stronger field anyway. I was the number two truck in that race, number four in this race. That last lap was at 22.6. Is that lap traffic up there on the high side? Must be. I think I see some blue in my peripheral. Yes. Number eight. They must have damage. They do have damage. Hopefully we catch them in a good spot. Car outside at 22.6. Clear up, cop. Compromise my entry a little bit. Take the entry a little softer since I was entering at a less ideal angle. But worked out. Didn't lose much. That was at 22.8. Man, this track is so fun, whenever you uh, can run some green laps. This might be my favorite non mile and a half. Is that too uh, bold to say? I'd have to think about it a little bit, I think. I guess I should say my favorite non-intermediate, because I do like Auto Club a lot. That's not a mile and a half, but it is a two-mile track. There are some one-mile tracks I like, though, too. So, I'd have to really consider that claim, but I do like this track a lot. If we're talking about short tracks, maybe I can say this is my favorite short track. That's probably true. The short track for non-short track racers. <laughs> maybe. We'll see how I uh, am doing on tires eventually. I think I should be doing okay. I break a little bit earlier than I think I need to. And like I said, I've been getting on that right rear. Got my brake bias at 60, which is pretty aggressive on the low side, I think. Helps get it turning. We got a pass attempt up here, maybe. Looks like he will leave the door open for him. Maybe that'll bring us to them if they fight. Ooh. Felt they're getting loose there. Gotta be careful. You file in. He's gonna take a smart approach and not uh, let me catch up too much by fighting side by side too long. He might be falling off though. That might be why he got passed in the first place. Maybe we can find ourselves in the top five here before too long. Just 
contract's getting tight, but too bad. Still not ideal though. Started catching up and then all of a sudden I'm starting to get tight. Not steady, please. Hands hurting a little bit. Because that's one thing that's uh, still true about this place, being a short track. My hands hurt while driving it. <laughs> Thank you. It's my own fault, but... Well, if we were catching up, I think that's evened out a little bit. Got a second behind, like that, like having that gap. Cup times are pretty consistent. Hmm. Getting a little bit tight. Just a little bit more. It's creeping up. That traffic. Coming up here. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Outside. Take the high line. Thank you to him. Still there. Hold your line. Clear outside if you want to. Hopefully, don't look like we lose much time there. More lap traffic coming up. Playing a big role here today. Still getting loose on exit. Gap two there. That's a good sign. Tire wear wise. Catching more lap traffic here, the 29. Didn't catch him in the best spot there. Had to kind of ruin my exit. That'll affect my turn one as well, because I didn't have the best angle. But everyone's got to deal with lap traffic the same way I do. Got to keep moving. Still gaining behind us. In the rhythm though, feels good. How about this green run? Probably longer than any of the past two races I did. We got a lap car potentially being a problem. We're in the wall. Give him plenty of room. Back off. I did not back off. Please entry to my corner. Okay, they didn't have to. That's just me being a <laughs> being a uh, grumpy driver. Would have been nice of them too, but I guess they didn't have to. The gap two back ahead is now one point zero seconds. <sighs> All right. Yeah, guy had pulling away. Unfortunately, a bit of a mess ahead. Guys, different levels of left. Oh god. Am I approaching? Outside. Problem. That's not Clear my favorite outside. thing to have to do, but we get it. Awkward. <laughs> Figured it out. The action track, living up to its name, even if it's with a lap traffic. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. I'm going to breathe. That lap was at 23.1. I'm liking the amount of green I'm seeing. Seems like I'm able to uh, maintain my pace pretty decently. And compared to last lap, fall off maybe not too bad. Potentially some issues with the lap car up there holding them up. You three guys. Appreciate it, sir. The answer there in front is now 1.0 seconds. Not very smooth. That was a little clunky on my controls there. Bottom there, just make sure I gave him room. Get by without too much trouble. Hey, this is fun. We're getting some green flag laps. I love it. Top 10 was always the goal. So sixth place sitting here. Feeling pretty good. Always got to remember I'm on free setups too, so. It's my independent family owned team. It's a nice little run we got going. <laughs> Time Guess you could call it OSR Motorsports. <laughs> the gap to there ahead is now 1.2. All good things must come to an end. And there it is, on the infield, I assume. So definitely, definitely taking tires. Long run there. Hopefully we can execute on pit road here. Not everyone's going to be caught up. Speed up, James, if you can. The leader is pitting now. Watch your speed limit in the pits. You've got loads of fuel. Hey, one, did you happen to uh, catch what happened there? Did I, uh, did I come up or he came down? Pitbox team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Ooh, I thought uh, I stopped like a boat. little short, but we're okay. 82, 88. So a little hard on the right front. Certainly not unacceptable. Go, go, go! Alright. Happy with that pit stop. Did everything I needed to do. Where are we coming out now? Eleven. Pitting? Is that what he's put in front of me? Yes. Do we have people staying out? Is that what I'm seeing, or is that lap traffic? Okay, I'm good. I'm like, there's no way anyone's staying out on tires that old, right? Although 8280 is still not too bad, given how long that run was. Really hope we can do that again, and this thing doesn't devolve into chaos. Been a good run so far, so I'd love to keep it that way. Wondering how some of the guys ahead got out so fast, like the uh, seven, wasn't he right in front of me? He got out of the pits really quick. Guess he just executed a little better. Maybe I rolled into the stall a little bit slow or something. 
always worried about overshooting it. So, sixth place. We've got, what, 35 to go? 34 to go whenever uh, we take green? Maybe 35 to go once we cross the line here. So not too much longer. I hope that doesn't mean that guys are going to start Sorry. getting over aggressive and causing problems. Things are going so well. <laughs> hope uh, we can keep Where it that way. Have a good look at the leader. The inside seems to always get a better launch, though. I hope they hold my hold their line below me. I gotta remember the tires are really cold, and this thing's pretty sketchy. Old tires, though the track is cooler now. A little extra grip there. Okay. Well, that stinks. Felt like we had a really good start there. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car number zero five. We're under caution. It's close. Hmm. Felt like we were just about to get back in line and be okay. Now we got to do it again. Hey Tim, I'm not too sure what your idea of trying to shoot at three wide right there was, but it scared me enough to send me. Yep, that's what it is, dive bombing here. It's very, very rampant. Lots of dive bombing at Richmond. So we'll do it again. Fortunately, the pace laps are pretty slow here. It feels like we'd take about one lap too many. Feel like we could get going a little sooner, but that's okay. Less caution laps than I had last time I did this, so I'll take it. Hold on to sixth. A little less laps to work with, but I'm okay with maintaining. I don't really expect to gain any more spots. I would just be perfectly fine maintaining. Obviously, I'll take them if I can get them, but I'm not sure, so sure I have more speed than the guys ahead. And I'm within my goal range, so I'm not going to wreck myself trying to get something that might not even be all too possible with my skill set. So. We got the one, three, two, seven, five, and the top five. Where's the, let's see, I'm the guy that's supposed to be up there with them. <laughs> and then we would have cars one through five in the top five. But that's just according to I rating. I did have a little bit of a loose moment. I entered pretty hard in one of the corners and it started feeling a little light. It got me a little scared. It wasn't panic mode quite so much, but it definitely got my attention. All right, so coming to one to green here. Getting closer to the time where I got taken out and killed my last attempt here around, around lap 90 so hopefully we make it past that point hopefully we make it to 110 outside start once more 
left to green. All right, Colton. You're on the outside bit time. Race resume at the end of this lap. Let's have another green run to the end. That was fun. Let's do it some more. Just gotta get spread out, and I think everybody should be fine. Can't dive bomb people if you're spread out. Actually, don't take that as a challenge, field. <laughs> Maybe they can. Four car length spec. Make like a dive bomb. Don't encourage them. Mmm, slow starting the outside, I have a lift off for him. Getting held up here, man. Get to his outside, get a great run off the corner. Loose on exit. Go inside. Clear. Ooh, pass on the outside on a short track. I love it. Yeah, good job staying off on the dirt. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for staying off me, guys. Too. I had to check up a little bit. Just go let off the gas. I saw you get checked up behind me, so I appreciate it. Sweaty. Mm. You know, with the cooler temperatures, with it nighttime now, it's definitely tighter, the truck is. Allows me to get on the uh, gas a little bit harder. Gotta take advantage of that. Can't get too hard, but can get on harder. Desk just moved. While well, I was turning, it slid. That did not help me. Apparently, I'm hard on floors now, so I'm weighing my desk down with books, but apparently, I'm too strong. <laughs> Adrenaline's flowing. Ugh, I'm not really hitting the marks how I would like here. I guess I am, it's just, like I said, the car's tighter now, so it feels a little different. Mm. Let's go green to the end, though, I would love that. Five twenty. Nope, no apologies, no one's doing anything, everyone's being fun and happy and cool. They made it, they're fine. Everyone's happy, everyone's friends. Everyone's green flag racing. I don't think we're faster than the guy ahead. I think we can keep up with them, but are not faster and are not fast enough to pass. So we'll pressure him, maybe he'll make a mistake, but without it I don't think we can get by him. Just don't see it happening. Ooh, let's take these laps down. Let's get this thing over with.
go fast. Only 20 second laps. Got tight there. Had to lift off. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. You think that ever happens to real race car drivers? Like, they've got an itchy foot or something. They can't do anything about it or hair in their mouth. Distracting them. A lot of traffic. Oh man. I'm gonna have to do all that again. A lot of traffic's been pretty good this race though. Especially compared to what happened to me last time. Guys been running on the outside, being pretty predictable. Doing what they need to do. Got loose, that was almost bad. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. I have an entry there. Maybe we can get the cut down now. Good. Half a second back behind us. Outside. Mm. Outside. That lost me some time. I lost about a tenth because I was afraid I was going to drift up and get that guy. low, keep it near the yellow line, helps get it turning more, Just brakes to get turned on entry, angle it towards the apex, just run through my thought processes here. What are you doing, guy? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I get the brakes coming down. When you dive it from 10 car lengths back, no, I'm not giving you a lane. You don't have a lane. You're not entitled to a lane. This, this, this is not uh, this is not your parents' house. You think you're entitled to everything. You were not entitled to the spot. Pace car is out. I feel like he was waiting to use that line for a while. I know single five. Zero five. Once you dove it in, you still wasn't inside. You were in the back bumper of me. There's the difference between hitting me in the rear and hitting me in the side. You hit me in the rear. So it's right side. Not there. Still uh, not arguing with you. You're right. It was your left rear. Uh, when the lead is pitted, come down and cut my nose. I followed you around for ten laps or whatever. Come on, guys. Lots of staying out. Come on. Everybody can hear that. I'm so upset. Ah, <sighs> shoot. Well, it could work out. It could. We're getting the fresh tires, make everybody feel fast here. <sighs> Yo, thank you for driving straight through pit road, and I couldn't see a damn thing, dude. Awesome job. I'm scared now. Shit. It's are open. Catch the pace car. No, we're not alone, at least. We got one guy behind well, us. Why are the faster, you guys? So, I didn't think tires were old enough to be a problem. I didn't stay out. Thought more people would stay out. And I figured probably gonna be lots of mess in the back. And I didn't want to be a part of it. I don't know where the six is going, but Oh boy. How is this gonna turn out? My heart's beating now. I'm not going to have very many laps left. Going to have a faster car right behind me, making it three wide. Oh, this is not going to be good. All I can do is hold my line, keep aware of my surroundings. I 
I have to get a good restart here. I'm so bad at starting on the <sighs> starting on the outside front row though. This is gonna be scary. One to go, Nick time by. You're Next on the outside this time. time. Last time we had a, a run about that short, it was only like 98, 98. So I didn't think we needed to come in, but even that little difference is gonna make them very fast, especially considering they're already faster than me. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Take it? You got cat to go. I'll take it. I thought we were dead as soon as I heard three wires. Hey, uh, hey, uh, I love it. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to clip you. I believe that's a green white checker. Hi, Stan. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to door you. They were wrecking, wrecking to my ride or something. I apologize. Car is out. Yeah, typically you check up in those situations and let the guy that you're next to on the inside clear before you turn down, but it's all really good. just couldn't have had green to the end, huh? Yeah, yeah it's just one of them kind of teaser moment things. Uh, I don't love to have nice things. <laughs> things happen quick, man. It's all good. I definitely am going to look back at that, though. Hey, Dave, you gotta I have no idea what actually happened there with the three wide, but we survived. Nice holding it steady there, Robert and Colton. It was uh, good to see that. Sure was scary. <laughs> 16, uh, man asked, you know what happened there? Hey, <laughs> got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Uh, yeah, I got that bad. Put three wide, so I had nowhere to go. Hey, Robbie said the same thing. He can't talk. His button doesn't work. Well, I guess I did an all right job. Two said so. <laughs> or it was the one, I mean. The two well, maintained the fun. lead. But I have the feeling that one's going to rock it around his outside, probably, on the way to a win. Let's keep it green here, boys. We need to make the 12 o'clock. We've got a green white chicken finish after this caution. Green white chicken finish. Well, the thing like the last night, Chris, they got all three of them. Oh, God, I don't hear that. Isn't that why there's three? I can't tell if he's genuinely asking, do you know why there's three, or if he's setting up for a joke. Like, you know why there's three? Because three's company or something stupid. Like, <laughs> sound like he was setting up a joke. I guess he actually was genuinely curious. Nobody has answering him. But then again, I don't know if he's actually asking. And now it's too late, it would be weird to respond, I think. <laughs> Being social is hard. This is how my brain works. Anyway, two to green, right? Please, let's get this thing over with before my heart fails. All right. Pace car is out. Oh, it's boy. So as I figured the two zoomed on by, I did my best trying to get a good start, but there's so much you can do.
I just hope I don't fall back too much. I hope we don't get put three wide again, because I don't want to roll those dice too many times. Lots of snake eyes on those dice. Got six sides and five of them are one. <laughs> one lap to green. Okay, You're on the outside. Get the the regime at the end of this lap. All right, let's get this over with, please. No more green white checkers. My life expectancy is dropping by the moment. I don't just mean on the track. Stress, man. Hopefully, the uh, guy in front gets a good jump. Imagine he should. About to go green. He said I think go he should rocket good. by him. At least once we get to turn one. Hide car is off. Okay. Get to that line, man. Let's get there. Come on, get there. All right. Come on. That didn't just happen. That did not just happen. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. No way. That did not just happen. <laughs> Randall, are you alive, sir? We'll check on him. Oh my god, he's gone. He's disappeared. He has passed away. Okay, right what just I'm happened? I'm gonna celebrate now, but I'm still numb. What? I've never done a must watch before, like Nick and uh, Gavin. And lots of other great YouTubers do. Now's a good time to start. That was, in <laughs> that was incredible. Holy cow. I gotta see that. I mean, I didn't even really, I mean, I got close to you, but it's like, I don't know, just shot your truck right into me when it shouldn't have. It sucks. I think it was net code. I don't want to be on mic being like, oh, wow, well, I'm hey, so... Mark, I appreciate you uh, just dumping me there, buddy. Because obviously that really stunk for them. I'm back to look at it now. I, I thought you got loose, Holy I'm, cow. I've not found it yet. So. Hold on, I'll give you my take on it. <laughs> well, um, let's take a look at that. See how that happened. So this is the final green-white checkered. I'm going to be green, starting fourth. Okay, yeah, we'll lap 112, so we got two to go here. I think it must have been yeah, code that they got the into lady. there at the end, because it looked like they didn't even hit each other. Maybe they did. I'll have to take a look at it. But I just had to drift it across on the apron, apparently. Barely held on to the thing. Everybody was wrecking. No. Oh. Get here, you knew he was gonna make the move up here. One, he has better tires. He goes to the outside. Oh, yep, it was net code. They were so close, and it looks like it just hit his right rear and sent him to the right. And then I slide and get past him. I cannot believe that happened. <laughs> wow. I did not see that coming. I'll be honest. I thought that one was had it easily with newer tires, and he really should have. That shouldn't have happened. And the three just could not get around it. It was not as lucky as I was being able to get by. 
gets the two a little bit. I don't know, the two might have even slid my path. I almost got hooked too by the one right here. I thought I was gonna get hooked when it was happening live. Oh my gosh. And then, oh, the five couldn't sneak through. The whole field's wrecking. Oh my gosh. What a mess. And it's white flag, so there's no cautions. Everyone's just flat footing it. That sucks so bad for the one, though. He was in a he went from position to win, potentially, to doesn't even finish the race. And his physics are freaking out, but <laughs> not freaking out as much as I am. That was Wow. Okay. Well, let's see the incidents. Final round I was 93-91. Hey, I did nice on the right rear that time. Although it might have been drifting around the corner, and then of course I did. Yeah, I guess that was probably more me doing burnouts there. Wow, okay. Incidents. Enough of me being mind blown here. The action track, by the way. That's what they call it. Alright. <laughs> Incidents. Neon green machine spins it. Cold tires. Must have brought out the first caution. Immediate caution. Although I think we had someone else spin, didn't we? I don't remember. One of the, it was pretty early on we had some spin up near the front. Just a little bit of a wall hit there. Gonna get a fair number of those, I imagine. 14 wrecking again? I love how he didn't have a reply. That's rough. They're having a rough time. I'm telling you, those cold tires, though, they're so, it's so sketchy. Once the, tire, uh, the track cooled down, though, it got a little bit better. Since it was late at night, the track cooled down and got a lot more grip and allowed me to be more aggressive on those later restarts. That was... That was nice, because otherwise, sliding everywhere. So there's this guy following me. Not sure why we're seeing that. Probably just gonna have to go through pretty fast. Wall hits are gonna be happening plenty. I remember that guy getting in the back of me just a little bit. Just overdrove backs a little bit. Came up with the wall in addition to hitting me. No harm done, though. Josh Childress. I wonder if there's any relation there. Probably not, but maybe. One and the two battling early on. They were, uh, little did they know what they were going to get into later on. 13. Rolls the center a little bit faster than the 28 and gets into him. And then he damages the back of his truck for no reason. Could have just locked it down there. But when you're spinning, it's easy to just want to just let go of everything. It's hard to keep that presence of mind when you're in the moment. Oh man, another bad net code. Right there. It sounds like more is happening behind. What's going on? I'm probably checking up for the wreck and other people not checking up. So, massive net code there causes problems and then they continue wrecking because there's no caution, I don't think, at this point. Let's try to see what happened. Uh, okay, the 8 gets run into from behind. That's why they become a lap track. Oh my god, that was much bigger than I thought. That is a, that's a rough one. Alright. Back green again, we're on lap 30. Wall hits. Side by side. Wall hits. Six has met the wall a couple of times at this point already. And we got someone here in the back, just kind of running around. Much going on back here. Just wall hits. Skim forward a little bit. We had some nice green runs this race. That was very fun. I was, I was content to just take a top 10. I was thinking, man, maybe I can actually pull off this top 5 here. And then uh, that thing happened that happened. But I was absolutely content because this was a very fun race. So, lap 70. Seems like it's calming down a little bit as this race goes on. I was getting it figured out, maybe 
getting some room. Is this what caused that late caution? Yeah, the 18's coming off the wall. That actually looks very similar to what caused the death in the last race I did. So picture this, since you didn't get to watch it. This is the lap car in my last race. This is the leader, and this is me chasing the leader. This is actually eerily similar. So lap car goes high, and the leader came down here, and the lap car turns down on him and wrecks him. Except in my case, I was down here, and their impact was much harder, and we all got taken out. <laughs> that was the difference there. So that really sucks, though, for... Oh, okay. So they were both lap cars. They were on the same lap, but... Probably made the leader's heart skip a beat there. I believe this was one of the late cautions. Yep. Yellow flags out. Lap 77. Ooh, the 30's looping it. I remember he was uh, upset about the guy dive bombing him. Was it a true dive bomb? Well, here's the thing. This is a rest oops. This is a restart. He's way off the back of this truck. And it's not going. Still, even though the leader's going. Look how, how much distance he's lost here. So the 18 is stuck behind him. He Did he need to go down there? No, probably not. But he is there. You know, for what it's worth. And he did hold the line down. So even though the 30 was not upset about that, that is not the worst type bomb I've seen. It's aggressive. But... Yeah, that's just... That's tough. Still not the most egregious case of dive bombing I've ever seen, though. I was expecting much worse heading into this incident. And 30 doesn't even get hit anybody by anybody, so that could have been so much worse. Hitting the wall under caution? Is that what see here? No? I should have never seen this. Lap 83. We got some more cautions to go before this thing's over. 12 gets loose and overcrats on the wall and then, whoa, all the way down the track. Gathers it up, though. You know, I'm coming off corner. That's not a good dive bomb. Maybe this is the one the 30 was talking about, because he's getting used up this race, and that was a bad dive bomb. So the 20 is definitely not there, and takes him out. So, yeah, that one's definitely a dive bomb. That one's definitely worthy of being upset about. Maybe that is the one he was talking about. I don't remember which case it was, but 30 has a right to be upset. He got used up. 11 self-spinning. Track's still not quite cold enough, I guess. He gets going. Let's caution that anyway. Ooh, what do we have? What is going on? What do we have here? So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me just watch this whole restart because this is the one that was crazy. So we had multiple three wides, I guess. We're going to watch it from back here, I guess. So, I try my best to get a start, but I'm just horrible starting P2. So, I let the one down there. We get taken three wide, but we're okay. I leave enough room. Nicely handled up there, guys. Including me. <laughs> I can pat myself on the back, right? Like, we survived three wide. I participated. Um... So, unfortunately, that three wide did check up the six. Obviously, it's going to make you slower if you have to keep it all the way down there. And the 16 checks up for it, it looks like. And the five's like, uh-uh, got to go. So he takes it three wide. And that makes the 16, it kind of scares him a little bit. Because maybe he's not expecting it. And he's like, oh man, i got to get a better angle real quick. And then seven's not expecting to have to leave room for three wide. And that's how that happens. And then they're all just running over each other. More bad net code. And there's your caution. Whoa! Threading the needle. Oh, 29 just decides to plow through, though. Man, 27 was doing such a great job threading the needle, and then 29 comes from 10 miles back. 
Like, caution's out at this point, right? Like, it has to be. Caution? Sorry, I have to check. No, I guess caution's not out yet, so... That's why he's going so hard still. <laughs> that's awkward. Alright. So, that'll set up the one and only green-white checkered. Thank you, Field, for allowing it to just be one. Got a little bit of wall hit there. Heading to the white flag, got the 10 getting everything out of it, and that means not actually hitting the wall, but the 10 hitting the wall. 31 runs over the 9, causes a big mess, but no cautions at this point. Boom. Yeah, the netcode was bad this race. The 1 was doing everything he had to do, made it so precise, but it was too precise for his own good, because not netcode wasn't able to keep up with it. And it decided he hit his right rear, pushed down the suspension of the truck, caused the two to come up, run into him, they both spin. The three, what's the three thinking? He's seeing them spinning, and he's like, well, I'm not going to be able to turn down in time. He tries it first, and then he decides, okay, I have to go up. Hits the two, breaks all his momentum. And one other person did not lose the momentum. Barely get by the sliding truck and get the win. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe that happened. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. That was quite the finish. We go from 8th to 1st. Did not expect that. Um, that was some green-white checker shenanigans. I did not deserve that. I feel like I did a pretty decent job putting it into the top five, but our little old family-owned team is doing donut donuts on the checkered finish line at the end of this one, and that is a shocker. That was that was pretty fun. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you pushed through the cautions with me to get to that finish because that was pretty crazy. Uh, I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.